God dang it. What's up, guys? <laughs> Super ghetto. I had to clean the screen. I don't have my microphone hooked up. I'm in the middle of cooking, and I got delayed. So we are going live, guys. Give everybody a couple of seconds to jump on here, and I'll start the draft. Uh, check the screen here real quick. Do my refresh. See that everyone is uh, here. And in, oh, here we go. All I got to do is hit the hit the refresh there. I'll get the sound going. Picked up now. It looks like we're going live. Uh, <clears throat> here we go. Let me see where we are on the camera. Okay, I think we got it, guys. I think you guys can see the screen here. Uh, Damn, I'm close, ain't I? Uh, I did want to do this as close as I could, but this is a little, this might be a little too close for comfort. Um, I think we're okay right there. I'm not sure why my camera's doing this recently. It just started doing this. We got one in the chat box. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah. Let me give it a minute. Let it build up here. I did just, just get back in. Um, maybe there's, maybe somebody else is also doing a live show. Let me check that out real quick. Uh, let me check my chat box out there. We got one in 72 seconds ago, started live streaming. So I'm not sure if this is right or not. Something's going on here. It usually goes a lot quicker than that. So let me check everything. Check, 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 and check, and check. And I don't see anybody else live right now. So let me go live here, see what's going on, guys. We'll get this started here in just a few minutes. So maybe everybody's busy this afternoon. But anyways, here we go, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get it rolling. Uh, we got two in here, guys. Everybody's been asking me to do the live stream. So that's what I was interested in doing. Um, and... Had a few people like really strongly, you know, request that uh, I get started on those. And we got a bunch of things going on this week. Uh, what's up? Mosh in the house. So was going to do a live stream, guys. Uh, let's get her rolling. We're going to select the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, excuse me. I'm on the wrong screen. We're going to uh, select the Dallas Cowboys here. Dallas Cowboys. Go to the next screen and... I will kind of walk through this a little bit to show you guys what's going on with the... I had a lot of people requesting to do this, so it kind of kind of a little crazy that, that we don't have anybody prepared. I uh, did the video earlier on Michael Irvin and the cancer situation. I'm glad to see he's... Uh, Dynasty Rock, I did, I did a mock draft with him earlier today, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to follow through with that. Uh, Dynasty Mock... Dynasty Rock, excuse me, slide down, and let's get this draft rolling. I always pick, as you guys know, I always pick the, the draft selectee at the top because it's the most updated. It does it does have the, the dates on there. I also go with uh, uh, user voted because that, that what that does is it takes into account all the other mock drafts that, that other people are doing. Um, and I go classic, and we're ready to roll. So we're going Dallas Cowboys. Mock draft, seven rounds, let's draft, let's get started. Here we go, guys. And I will zoom it in once the draft starts. I can uh, zoom in on the board here and see how this, see what the selections are that are made as they go. All right, here we go, guys. So the, the mock draft has started. Let's see who's, who's first on the board. They went with uh, Quentin Williams. So Quentin Williams was first off, and we're going to go through the first. As you guys know, the first round will go through, and um, the first round will go through. We don't have a, a selection on that, so we'll have to wait and see uh, what falls what falls to us at 58. I will go ahead and highlight the safeties because that's what I'm expecting. Uh, let's slide through the draft here, guys. Quentin Williams went first. I don't know if you guys can see that. I will make it bigger. There we go. If you guys can see the draft board there, um, yeah, there we go. It's showing Quentin Williams off the board first. Um, you guys can't go that high, I guess. Let me see. Yeah, Quentin Williams went first. We got edge rusher, defensive line, edge rusher, quarterback. Uh, oh, okay, Dwayne uh, Haskins. 
I was expecting him to go to New York. New York took Kyler Murray uh, on the last draft I did earlier. Uh, they had Kyler Murray going to uh, Oakland, and then they had uh, Dwayne Haskins going to New York. So as it looks, it looks like New York may may take, if they go by this, may New York may take a uh, – May take a quarterback. Um, let's see. I'm looking for the first safety. Noah Fant, tight end, went to Green Bay Packers. Uh, the, the draft I did earlier today had Noah Fant going to the Broncos. Um, New York Giants again, Montez Sweat. So the Giants took Montez Sweat at 17. Um, I still don't see still don't see a safety on there, guys. Safety, uh, Nasir Adderley, uh, which is one of the top safeties. He goes off at 30. Let me check back through and make sure I don't see a safety anywhere. So as of now, at 32, with 32 picks gone, there's only uh, – and Dante, Deontay Thompson, uh, he went to the Rams at 31. So as of right now, guys, we got we got two safeties off the board with a 32-second pick. So, hey, Crunk, let's hope for a safety. Yeah, guys, uh, we'll see. And, and like I said, these are mock draft. It just lets you learn who's there in your window. Uh, it doesn't mean that, 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 you know, this is the way it's going to fall or anything like that, but, uh, all right, let's, let's pick it up here. So I've got the safeties highlighted still and now I don't, let me highlight the safeties again. If you guys can see the board there, I do need to raise this. Let me raise the camera just a little bit so you guys can see the top there. Oh shit. Hell no. I'm going to have to slide to the other side if I can do this properly. I just want to, I want you guys to be able to see the whole board. There you go. Now you can see the board. That's more important than uh, than the bottom of the screen there. All right, guys, we're on the board. Uh, and I did, I used this guy earlier. Uh, he's got, he's got Tyler Rapp at 68. So as of now, right now, Tyler Rapp is still there. Um, Tyler Rapp is still there. Restore pages. No, I don't want to do that. Let me close this off. Um, as of right now, this guy has Tyler Rapp still there on the board. It, that's why I had the, the camera down, is because I'm, I'm barely in the screen. I'm not tall enough, I guess. <laughs> uh, Tyler Rapp is there. Amani Hooker. Um, they've got him at 68. I really think he's, he's a little lower than that. I think he's going to go around 50, around 55 or something like that. Uh, Thornhill went above Rapp. I don't see that happening. Um, but, but we'll see. Zach Allen just went off. He's an edge rusher at 50, 56. Uh, off. So what this allows you to do, guys, is look and study the players uh, as their possibility to come off. Uh, the volume is down. The, the volume should be good. Can't hear. Let me see what's going on with this. I apologize, guys. The volume down still. We in there? Hello? Test, test, one, two. I think we're going to get him. Uh, let me see here. Volume. Test, one, two, three. Volume check, volume check, one, two, three. Sorry, guys. Is it better now? Can you hear? When you move the cam, some uh, something happened. Oh, okay. Now we're good? Or now we're, we're not good? Let me, let me disconnect the, the microphone and re reconnect it. Check. One, two, three. Test, test. Sorry, guys. Hang in there just for a minute. I was wondering why nobody was on the uh, live stream. We better now? Good? No good. Thank you, brother. Thanks, Mosh. I appreciate it. All right, here we go, guys. Now we're rolling. <laughs> All right, as you guys can see, Tyler Rapp is still there, Amani Hooker. Uh, these are the guys that are possibly going to be there. Uh, Thornhill went to 55, as you guys can see here. Let me slide this trophy over. Thornhill went at 55. Zach Allen is one of the guys the Cowboys are kind of looking at. I don't think he'll fall that low either. So this isn't super accurate, but it does give us an opportunity to, to look and see who's going to be on the board approximately around 58. So – uh, let's see. Savage is still there. They got Savage at 132. So you guys, somebody mentioned, let's, uh, let's see who's at the, on the edge or let's see, where's it at? 
Um, let's see the defensive lineman. And that's what's cool. You can break this down. You can you can select defensive lineman or you can fit, uh, select edge rusher. So we'll go. Let's just go defensive lineman for now. Uh, Jerry Ter uh, <clears throat> Jerry Tillery still there from Notre Dame. Uh, Terry Beckner is per Terry Beckner Jr. out of Missouri. Gerald Willis is a guy the Cowboys are looking at. They got him slotted at ninety. His problem is some off the field issues. He 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 was at Florida. Uh, he had to transfer to Miami. There was some issues. The the coach didn't actually want him there anymore. He had a, a fight in the locker room. He had a late hit out of bounds. It, actually, he was out of bounds. He wasn't even on the field at the time, and uh, he he actually hit uh, the the quarterback for guys. Excuse me, the quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, um, Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston had a play where he ran out of bounds and and and. Um, and Gerald Willis like pushed him, shoved him out of bounds. He got ejected from the game. Then he had a fight in the locker room like a couple weeks later, uh, and and didn't even finish the season. So he's got some issues off the field, but that's why he's sitting so low. Uh, he's a probably a top thirty pick. He's a first rounder, but but could fall to the second second round, maybe even the third round. Uh, this guy's got him in the third round. I don't see him going that low. Um, edge rushers. Let's check edge rushers. Joe Jackson, Chase. Uh, Chase Wind, I don't even know this dude's name, uh, and I apologize, but Chase uh, Win Winovich, Chase Win J uh, L J Collier is sitting there at 88. So those are some of the guys the Cowboys are looking at. But I will say this, guys, to me, if the safety is there, especially some of these safeties, that's who we go with. But if you take if you take Rap off the board, you could easily put Thornhill back on. You know, there's a couple guys that just left the board. Um, Thornhill and also another safety that's off the board was, uh, yeah, uh, Chauncey Gardner Johnson. He's one of the guys that could be falling to us at, at 58. Uh, they've got him right here uh, off the board at 49, but I really, really think he, he could be there at 58 as well. So we got a quality safety, and this is my situation, guys, right now with the defensive line. I know we're wanting Amari Cooper, or not Amari Cooper, I know we're wanting to sign Demarcus Lawrence. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence is our key. He's the key right now to this whole puzzle. The thing is, if we don't sign him, if we cannot sign him for some reason, and I, th I think it's in the works this week. And I think the reason I think it's in the works this week, I know we're close on the money. So if we can get, if we can get even Demarcus Lawrence signed to what he wants at 22.5, we could put in some incentives in there. Some so uh, an injury clause we could put in there, uh, some in incentives for for uh, oh I just got a just got an email on my uh, oh that's not up there I just got an email concerning my interview I got an interview for Hawaii uh, which I'm not gonna take it, it's it uh, I just don't like the way the salary is set up and and the uh, I'm not paying five dollars for a gallon of milk so. That, that's my situation <laughs> with the with the job in Hawaii. I'm not taking it, but I'm still going to do the interview uh, because it, it it is a good company. I want to see what they offer. But um, the uh, the situation with Marcus Lawrence, if if he's not there, you know we're going to get a, a trade pick for him, and we're going to get that money back. So we have options without him. But I really think it's going to happen this week. And the reason I think it's going to happen this week, we're close on the money. So it's kind of like what what I thought was going to happen on this Robert Quinn thing. I knew we were close. He met with Jerry. The deal was going to happen. The thing is they had to figure out how much money he was going to get, what kind of trade value. It's it's the same kind of thing with DeMarcus Lawrence. We got to figure out uh, how much money we're going to give him and the incentives that are going to be in there, uh, if they're going to put an injury clause in there, uh, how many games. Like They could put some things in there like he has to play 14 games or he has to play 80% of the snaps on defense or there's a lot, a lot of incentives they can put in there. And if he doesn't hit those incentives, that brings his salary down. So that's what we need, especially with this injury with him having the labrum injury. I would put an injury clause in there uh, and give him his 22.5. If he thinks he's worth 22.5, give it to him. But you don't get that 22.5 unless you play 12 games, you play less than 12 games, you get 18. And then we get that, that money back in the 2020 cap. Uh, we won't get it back this year, but we'll get it back next year. So that's what I think is taking so long. I think we're, we're, we've got a deal done, but they're just putting the right incentives in there. Maybe they're giving the incentives to, 
to the agent. Maybe the agent and Demarcus Lawrence don't like those, so they're changing it. It's it, it's going back and forth, and and I think that's what's taking so long. Um, so that's the reason I want to go safety on the first pick. So Taylor Rapp is there uh, on the first pick. That probably is not realistic. We're probably going to get Garner, uh, Garner or Thornhill or one of those guys. But anyways, Taylor Rapp is here, so let's move to the next pick, guys, and go Taylor Rapp. So we've taken our first pick at 58, Taylor Rapp, um, and we're moving on. Uh, our next pick is at 90, so we can see who else has been taken off the board. A bunch of edge rushers, tight end, uh, Hackleberry, uh, Hawkinson. Uh, excuse me, Hawkinson. I thought that was Hackleberry. That's a different tight end. Uh, TJ, TJ Hawkinson, uh, out of, went to the Jacksonville Jaguars, the other Iowa, um, tight end. So second round Taylor Rapp. There we are guys. Taylor Rapp. Any more tight ends? No, no more safeties came off. I don't see any other tight ends on there as well. Uh, to me guys, you, I, you, if you've watched my videos, you know that I'm really, really, uh, stuck on, on drafting uh what's up my cowboys family how you doing welcome to the channel as you like uh, i always appreciate you jumping in and saying hello thank you uh so we're on our second pick guys you know what i'm hot for on our second pick i do want to see where he's at on the board uh we'll check our wide receivers real, real quick uh see i'm hot for wide receiver on the next well, i don't know where jalen hurd is sitting i don't know where this guy this guy has him at 182 so that that he would still be available in the fourth round or should be. Uh, we're on the clock now at at 90. So I'm going to turn this over to you. Uh, where are we at, guys? Who wants to throw something up? Uh, at 90, we're sitting. We've got we've got our our safety. We ended up getting Taylor Rapp. Uh, he most likely won't be there uh, when we do the actual draft, but we will get a a a, a very good safety. Um. Jalen Hurd is a beast. I think I think he's he's a good pickup for us, guys. This is my position right here. If we resolve the defensive line, um, I wish I could get higher. My chair is not tall enough. If we could resolve the defensive line issue uh, this week or before the draft, which I know we will because either Demarcus Lawrence will sign or he won't and we'll get draft picks for him. So we'll still have our 58th pick. Because if we get a draft pick for him, we can still use that on defensive line if we want. So we'll get the money back and a pick. So we'll still have our 58th pick to use at safety. So that's why, to me, it doesn't change anything if we sign to Marcus Lawrence or not. Um, so really at this point, that's why, to me, you go best player, best, best player available because we have safety and, and you know, we have some other backup players we need. Any, any suggestions, Zach, you – like me, you hitting uh, the draft mags. Oh, the, yeah, the draft magazines. Um, I, I did get that message back from um, Dane uh, Brugler. Dane Brugler did send me a comment uh, on the Jalen Hurd thing, and he said, yeah, the Cowboys, uh, the Cowboys don't think he's going to be there at 90. So, or, or basically he said he doesn't think that, that he's going to be there at 90. So obviously they're watching him. Uh, Ansa will make uh, Dallas a number one defense. I think he could come in and help us if the Demarcus Lawrence thing don't go. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to go on our second pick. I'm going to look for an edge rusher that could probably come in and help us. Um, DJ Collier is still there at 88, which I don't think is going to be realistic either. This guy's uh, I don't like his draft pick so far. The way he's he's. Uh, He's got the guys listed. I don't think DJ Collier will be there on our second pick at 90. I think he'll be off the board. Uh, so we got our third pick coming up in the third round, which is pick 126. I'm going to go back to wide receiver now since uh, this round is over. I'll go back to wide receiver now and see if Jalen Hurd is still there. Yeah, this draft's not turning out as, as, as realistic as the other drafts I've done, and they were actually earlier in the season. So... Here we are. 26. We have Jalen Hurd sitting there. And I've got dinner sitting here waiting also. Uh, wide receiver. Yeah, Jalen Hurd's gone. No, he's not. He's there at 182. Uh, we pick 126. So we're on the board. 128. Excuse me, guys. 128. 
128. He's there, so I'm going to go ahead and take him because I want to get this draft over with. I got to eat, guys. And and it doesn't look like you guys are too too interested in the uh, in the draft selections. And I and I'm sorry for the color on my screen. It's not very it's not very bright either. So we did pick up Jalen Hurd. So far, guys, listen to what we got. I mean, this this may, is kind of not realistic. Now now we're on our next pick. Uh, we got Tyler Rapp, L.J. Collier from TCU, and Jalen Hurd. If, if we can get those guys, uh, we're going to have an outstanding draft. Uh, then we go running back. I would I would think maybe a running back uh, to pick up. Even though we got Jalen Hurd, who will play some running back, we got Justice Hill sitting there at one eighteen from Oklahoma State. We got Darren Hall from Pittsburgh. I like the I like Justin Hill. I think he's a really good uh, offset back to uh, what we have with Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, Alexander um, Madison. Alexander Madison at running back. Is that who you're? Just I don't see him on here. He may be off the board already. Is he? Garrett, how you? What's up, brother? How you doing? Well, I'm gonna go Justice Hill. I got my chicken and chicken and fries here on the table. I got to get this stuff done, man. Justice Hill is a very good pickup out of Oklahoma State, running back. Um, Devontae from TCU. I'd rather have Hill. I, I like Hill. He's just a different look, uh, especially if you have Jalen Hurd and Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, and you can throw uh, Hill in there as a different, a completely different option from those guys. Um, all right, guys, there we go. Next round. Man. Uh, anyways, but also congratulations to, while we're on here, congratulations to, uh, congratulations to Michael Irvin. I'm glad he's okay and that there's no serious issues with what's going on with him now. As you guys know, he, he has, uh, his, his test results were negative for the cancer issue, which is a very good thing. Uh, I was nervous for him. Uh, we're in the fifth round now. Pick 157. No. One Is it one? Uh, here we go. Oh, this, this is a round on the clock, 165. Uh, we've got, so, so far, we've got, if you guys can see the board there, we got uh, Taylor Rapp. L.J. Collier, Jalen Hurd, and Justice Hill. And I don't think that's very realistic, but at least it's it's allowing us to study some of these other players that are there close to him. Um, we're going to go – we could go offensive line. Anybody got any selections here? D.J. Blatt, I'd be happy. Hurd plays running back as well. Uh, kind of Murphy. Yeah, he's he kind of like a tie a – tie, uh, <clears throat> all right. Taco to real Cole, offensive tackle, tight end. We could go um, offensive tackle to get somebody in, maybe to give a little backup to to uh, Tyron Smith and uh, and Fleming. Mitch Hyatt, maybe. Uh, you talking about the Miami defense tackle, right? Oh, you guys talking about discussing bringing other guys in? We love them Boise State players. Yeah, uh, they hey the Boise State guys have played well for us. Um, I'm gonna go running back. No, we we got the running back Justice Hill. Uh, let's look at the tight ends. See what's available on tight ends. Not much left there, guys. We're getting towards the end of the draft. Let me go all see who the best available is. Best available. We're picking 165. The best available is linebacker Sutton Smith out of Northern Illinois. Offensive tackle. You want to look at offensive tackle. Uh, cornerback. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very good idea. Um, we, we do need, if we can, you know, if we get lucky and, and, and can pick a cornerback uh, that can come in in case Byron Jones gets – there's a chance he's going to get squeezed out, guys. He could get squeezed out because of the other money that these other players are taking up. We could lose, uh, like Tyron, not Tyron Smith. We could lose uh, Byron Jones, or uh, Chidobe Awuzie, or even uh, even Xavier Woods. Some of these guys could get squeezed out if 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 uh, the other French the other players are fr our, our franchise players, not on the franchise tag. If they they squeeze too much. I'm going to go cornerback. Oh, that's – whoa, 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 cornerback. I'm, I'm on quarterback. I was like, that name does not make sense. 
Um, there we go, guys. Now I'm recognizing some of these names. Jamal Peppers. Jamal, it's a different, it's not, not the same. Jamal Peters, I'm sorry. Jamal Peters out of Mississippi State. Um, that's a guy that's that, that Dak Prescott is, is familiar with. Um, let's see, 193, Sean Bunning. Some of these guys I'm not too familiar with that this far down in the draft. I'm still studying the draft uh, as we go through. So. Um, so we just picked up a corner as per... South of Heaven 88, Mosh in the house. We picked up a corner. Um, and I will have to study these guys. That's another thing I do. Once I select these guys, it gives me an opportunity to go through here and study them. We, so we got two more picks. We don't have a pick in this round. And then we got our last pick in the seventh round. So with, on the first round, with the with the 26 pick, we got Taylor Rapp. The second round, uh, no, excuse me, our first pick with the 50th pick it was the 26th pick in the second round uh we got uh taylor rap with our 90th pick we got lj collier uh with the next pick we got jalen hurd wide receiver slash running back with the next pick we got uh, justice hill out of oklahoma state and with our last pick so far we got uh cornerback sean bunting we don't have a pick in the sixth round so we go to our last pick in the seventh round and then we're done uh, guitar drunk eat your lunch <laughs> actually it's dinner it's 10 p.m here bro but i'll get it done i'm gonna have to stick it back in the oven for a second i i, I i've been promised a, i've been promising some people i'd do another mock draft and there was some people out there waiting I don't, I don't see them in here today but hey i know it's sunday you know everybody's got their thing to do uh ready for the oh yeah i'm ready for the real deal man i'm gonna be I'm going to be pulling my hair out the day of the draft. So we're on the clock with our last pick at 241. Um, let's see what we got here, guys. Two, 241, we're on the clock. Uh, anybody got any selections? When, when I hit a spot like this in the draft, to me, I love linebackers. And the reason I love line, linebackers, uh, yeah, Taylor Rapp was there at, actually at 50. And I, like I'm saying, Lucio, this is not like – this is not like super. Uh, this is not super accurate, but it does give you a window. I did this draft earlier, and Taylor Rapp wasn't there, but there was also Chauncey Gardner was there. Now Chauncey Gardner's off, so it, it, it's it's semi accurate. It's not a hundred percent accurate, of course, uh, but it, at least it gives you that window on the on the players to study. Um, right now, I like linebacker I, because those guys are you know special teams guys. They're always. Uh, you know, they can play special teams. They can jump in and uh, play the punt, play the kickoff, play uh, punt return. Uh, so linebacker is a good position for me. I think towards the end of the draft, you know, maybe best player available on the all. On the all available right now, it's quarterback, uh, wide receiver, running back, and then a cornerback. And then the best linebacker on the board, again, is from Mississippi State. Uh, Jerry Green, I'm going to take him since he's a Mississippi, Mississippi State boy. And uh, that ends up our draft. So on our complete total for the draft, at our number 50, 58 pick, we got Taylor Rapp. Uh, on our 90th pick, we got LJ Collier. On our pick in the fourth round with 26, we got Jalen Hurd. On our... 34th pick in the fourth round, we got Justice Hill. On our 27th pick in the sixth round, now it's resetting and it restarted. So I didn't get to finish it because I hit something with my – oh, I, I had minimized it. So there we go. It's still giving us our picks. Um, there we go again. So that's where we are. Uh, Sean Bunting, cornerback, and we got a linebacker at the end there. So we went safety, edge rusher. Wide receiver, running back, cornerback, linebacker. So I think that's pretty accurate. I mean, as far as at least the positions go, uh, and it, it, we got a good chance to just learn some players, guys. That's what it's about. It's about learning the players. This isn't accurate. This isn't how it's going to fall down. Uh, you know, re shit. They could pick 32 safeties the first round. It could be all safeties. Who knows? You can't say what they're going to do. And, and I'm not saying that this is accurate, but at least it gives you that window at 58. You know, you can look from 50, 
you can look from about 54 or 52 to about 64 and see the players that are in that window that are going to be available for us. And you can see the safeties that are going in that area. And you then you can flip over to Google and uh, study that. So that's the draft, guys. I'm going to jump off. I'm going to reheat my dinner and, and get this done. But you guys uh, take care. Enjoy. Enjoy the uh, the the draft. We'll do another one here in a week or so once these boards get updated. Once the boards get updated, they do change. And again, April 2nd is Jalen Hurd's Pro Day. You guys try to check it out if you can online or, or whatever is, is available to view it. Uh, I'll be watching that. Uh, I think it's during my interview. My interview is April 2nd as well, and it's probably right about the same time. It's it's 11, 11 p.m. Texas time. I'll be doing my interview here. So you guys take care. Uh, enjoy Cowboy time and, and pull for us in the draft. I'm going to go reheat my dinner, guys. Take care. Peace. <laughs>